and I have manifested a menu that never existed before. I keep telling people I'm a self-diagnosed. Do I have to do this every time? Yeah, as a self-diagnosed genius, I'm amazed by the things I don't know. I've been using Procreate for a long time and it turns out there's secret features, hidden features, extremely well-documented features that if I had done even a cursory Google search, I would have discovered, but I didn't know them, which means they're secret. I'm gonna show them to you. Hi, I'm Eric Edstrom. I'm an author and an aspiring artist on a mission to learn how to draw. And I'm delighted to be here on Paper Likes channel again. Secret number one is about perfection, and I'm not talking about my genius. If we draw a circular shape and hold, Procreate fixes this and makes it into this ellipse, but if I touch the screen, bam! A perfect circle, the platonic ideal, but that's not all. If I draw this and hold and continue to hold the screen, watch what happens when I rotate. It locks into 15 degree rotation increments. Mm. And if you do that with a line, press and hold, it locks it into those 15 degree increment angles. Now, why would you wanna use that? Well, maybe you wanna draw some brilliant geometric art like this, or maybe you wanna draw perspective lines or something like that. It's an amazing use for that. In my last video, I talked about drawing the Loomis head as an aid to drawing the human head. But using some of these techniques, I was thinking, hey, I might be able to draw a better Loomis head. So I'm gonna show you that. But first I need to clear this up. So I'll do a three-fingered waggle to clear the lay. What, you didn't know about the three-fingered waggle? Bonus tip. So now I've got this Loomis head and it's much tidier than the one that I would have drawn with my sort of shaky, over-caffeinated hands. Did you know that if you do a two-finger tap and hold, it takes you back in history? And if you do a three-finger tap and hold, it brings you back to the present day. It's time travel. Okay, because my skill at drawing heads isn't that great, I'm thinking I wanna draw a lot of faces on this view of the Loomis head. So I'm gonna do a three-fingered swipe down on the screen. <sighs> And I have manifested a menu that never existed before. It's the copy and paste menu. Mm. I'm now going to hit duplicate. If I look over here in my layers tool, I now have another version of that thing. I wanna arrange this in a nice grid. So I'm gonna go over here down to the bottom left and press the snapping menu. And now when I move this around, you can see that it's giving me these little guidelines of alignment and it snaps into place. So by doing this, I could create a grid of this view of the Loomis head and start drawing in my beautiful, lovely faces. I don't call myself a self-diagnosed genius for no reason. So the next secret is very subtle. Very technical. Now, right now I'm drawing my brilliant face in orange. And you can see that it's in the top right corner. It shows orange. But if I want to switch to blue, watch what happens if I tap and hold. It turned to blue. And now I can start drawing in blue. And if I do a tap and hold, it switches back to orange. The tap and hold switches you between your two most recent colors. And that is super efficient for all of those occasions when you need to switch between two colors. Are there features that I don't know about? And you may be thinking, well, how do I know what Eric knows? Well, you should probably assume that uh, there's nothing you don't know that I know. Wait a minute. Are there some amazing features in Procreate that I didn't cover that you think I should know? Leave a comment. I wanna discover all of them. Have you created some amazing art using Procreate? Share it on Instagram, tag Paperlike, and me, Eric Edstrom Draws, and use hashtag draw with paper like. Make sure to subscribe because I will be back soon.